The sun, the heart of our solar system, is 93 million miles away from Earth's orbit. The sun rays need 8 minutes and 20 seconds to travel this distance. Plants rely on this energy to produce the nutrients they need. The existence of almost all life on Earth is fueled by this energy. This most important and abundant energy can also be converted into electrical energy. The solar panels do this conversion work. To know more about this, continue watching. I am Benila. On today's video, I am going to talk about the solar panel. The main components of the solar panel are aluminium frame, tempered glass, EVA sheet and solar cells. The aluminium frame plays a critical role in protecting the edges and providing a solid structure to mount the solar panel in position. Tempered glass is preferred to normal plate glass because the strength of the tempered glass is 6 times more than the strength of normal plate glass. The strength is the main factor to consider because if the glass cracks, it can allow the water to penetrate and it leads to fire hazards. It also has an anti-reflective coating on the rear side to reduce the losses and to improve the light transmission. EVA films are the key material used for the solar panel lamination. It prevents the moisture and dirt to enter the solar cells. The complete energy conversion is done in the solar cells. Solar cells are grouped together to make solar panels. Combining several solar panels create an array. Most residential solar panels contain 60 cells and generate a voltage between 30 and 40 volts. The larger solar panels used for the commercial system contain 72 or more cells. If you observe the solar panel closely, you can see three important things. First one, a gap is maintained between two cells to accommodate any kind of expansion when it is exposed to high temperature. Second, vertical lines made of high conductivity wires known as bus bars are used to carry current. Multiple cells are connected in series through this bus bar. Third, perpendicular to the bus bar, there are thin lines within the solar cells known as fingers. They collect current and delivers it to the connected bus bar. The primary material used to manufacture solar cell is silicon. Each silicon atom has four valence electrons. In a pure silicon material, each atom will share an electron with its neighboring atom to get their valence shell filled. Therefore, the atom is inactive and there is no movement of electron. To make it active, it is doped with boron which has three valence electrons. Now, there will be one extra hole for each atom. This is called p-type doping. That is, in p-type, there are excess positively charged holes. Similarly, when a pure silicon is doped with phosphorus which has five valence electrons, there will be an extra electron which is free to move. This is called n-type doping. That is, in n-type, there are excess electrons. A solar cell consists of a layer of n-type silicon placed next to a layer of p-type silicon. Since holes and electrons are close to each other, at junction, some electrons crosses the junction to fill the adjacent holes in the p-type. When an electron leaves an atom, it becomes positive ion. In the same way, when the electron reaches an atom, it becomes negative ion. Thus, an electric field is formed. A depletion region is also formed where there is no free electron or holes. When the sunlight strikes the end region, it penetrates and reaches up to the depletion region. This energy is sufficient enough to generate electron and hole pairs in the depletion region. Due to the presence of electric field, the electrons move to the n-type region and the holes to the p-type region. This again increases the concentration of electron in one side and the concentration of holes in the other side. Therefore, this acts as a battery. That is, when we connect a load across it, the current will flow through it. This way, the solar panel generates DC electricity. To increase the efficiency, the n-type layer is made thinner than the p-type layer. The generator electricity is either stored in battery or connected to the power grid through inverter. If you are interested in this kind of video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you will be notified each time I upload a video.